The Immortal John Hancock here, and today I'm honored to do a review of the Atari Flashback 8 Gold HD. This is a new model with the HDMI out. People have been waiting for this. I know I have. Is it worth it? Let's check it out. Ad Games has really stepped it up this year. This bundle, which they sent to me, includes 120 games, has two wireless controllers with the ability to use your wired original 2600 controllers on the unit, as well as the ability to hook it up to modern TVs, 720p, and to save, resume, and rewind games. So real quick, I'm gonna show you some of the box. The, the big thing about this package is that it does include some Activision games, the big one being Pitfall. Very cool. Also includes River Raid and Kaboom, which are other huge Activision hits. Activision made a lot of the great classic Atari 2600 games, classics that people remember. On the back, it shows many of the 2600 games that are included. What's kind of cool is that this also includes a few unreleased prototypes, some homebrew games, and uh, very cool. Very cool. It's got some classics on there. Hero. Oh, yeah. Hero. I know Metal Jesus loves that game. So <laughs> I'm sure he'll like the Beam Rider. Yep. Enduro. Ah, I loved Enduro. And uh, I see many, many, many games on here that would occupy your time for hours. All right. Enough of that. Let's open it up. When you open it up, you're greeted with a really cool collectible poster. And I think that's pretty sweet. And you open it up. And it's it's a it's a fold out. Definitely kind of taking a nod from the Nest Classic. And it's a really kind of like commemorating the 40th anniversary of Atari, celebrating the flashback. And then on the back side, it's Everything you need to know about setting it up, playing stuff. Really cool. Simple. Um, even has, it shows the paddle support for the, the paddle controllers, the original 2600. Uh, really, really neat. That's cool. Shows kind of the functions of the, the controller, functions of the console, batteries. Really neat really like that they included this poster slash instruction manual because you know sometimes when they when you include it like a small instruction manual it just gets thrown away or lost this one's kind of a collectible thing and and i like that they did that and put that aside here is the console which the flashback is the current flashback design and it has nine pin in the front in which you can put your original 2600 controllers into or wired flashback controllers that they've made in the past the power cord goes there and this is what's kind of weird about this model the hdmi slot is on the side that's kind of weird i just noticed that interesting but there it is and just for people that aren't familiar with flashback uh, consoles. They're miniaturized versions of the original. So I have a Telegames original console here and I wanted to showcase kind of the differences. That's an original size of a 2600. This is the Sears model. And this is the Flashback HD. Flashback H HD. Flashback 8 HD Gold. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Alright. Cool. Other things. Here's the controller. It comes with two. That's got a nice feel to it. So this is the wireless controller. It comes, the batteries go there. And I wanted to compare that to an original controller. And so I noticed that the, uh, the Atari logo is gold. That's kind of cool. So again, the, uh, the controllers are it feels a little more loose, but man, that control is nice. Look forward to playing with that. That's cool. And uh, that's the original original controller. Very cool. Here's the power brick. What's cool about the power brick is that 
it won't take up a lot of space on on an outlet or anything. I love I love this design. Very cool. HDMI cord, standard HDMI cord, decent length. And there you have that. Let's go check out some games. So when you load up the menu screen, it is very nice, easy to navigate with the wireless controller. It's important to probably have this controller by you when you play games because it has a couple of buttons on it that aren't on the main console. So yes, you can use a wired controller, but with the replay and reset button, <clears throat> Only on the wireless controller, it's important to have this around. So, anyways, that being said, alphabetical, if you just uh, scroll over, you can go through all the games here. Uh, there's some awesome unreleased games. Combat 2, very cool. There's some homebrew games. Frog Pond, Frogger. Frogger is not the 2600 version, by the way, and I'll show you that later. Awesome classics, great Activision games. This is everything through alphabetical. And it's important to know that uh, it's easy to scroll with a wireless controller. You can, you can navigate it with a wired controller as well. You go down by pressing select on the wireless controller. And you can go to your favorites. I have favorites already selected. It's really easy to do that. Recently played, Atari games, Activision games, about. Very cool. So you just press left on the joystick to go back to the main menu. And let's go down and just kind of showcase some, some of the gameplay. All right, I'm going to show you Hero, one of the better games on this console. And you know, one of the best games Activision made. One of my favorites. And definitely go ahead and fire it up. And you just press start either on the controller or the or the console to go ahead and play. And I'm playing this with the wireless controller. I want to note that uh, I did try Sega Genesis controllers. They didn't work. I tried three button and six button. What's cool though is I used 7800 uh, Proline controllers and the control pad and they did work. And so I was really stoked about that. So really happy that those both worked. So it's pretty neat that you can use 7800 controllers on this console, especially the control pad. All right, Millipede. Millipede is an Atari classic. Always liked it better than Centipede. On a side note, it's also one of my first games I collected for my 2600 when I started collecting this. And uh, so glad it's part of this package. Plays and looks well. Um, I'm using, again, the wireless controller. It's kind of interesting. I thought for sure I was going to pick a wired controller to play on this, but you know, the wireless controller is very responsive. I'm very happy with it. I'm sure some people out there are going to prefer their old, you know, original 2600 controller, which is cool. You can you can do that with the flashback. They did a good job, but I, I, I kind of like the control of this uh, wireless joystick. I mean, it's, it's good. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more, but again, uh, I'm having fun and that's really all that matters you know this is a this is a great gift idea i think this bundle this 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 package of games that they have included is 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 great i do wish that they did include pac-man i don't know what the reason was for not including a pac-man with this bundle that would be my only complaint with a selection of games but uh, you know the, there's a there's a lot of timeless classics here you're, you're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck I thought I'd test Kaboom with some original Atari 2600 paddles. And let's go ahead and do it. Kaboom's such a great game. I'm going to press start and gonna go right there. And again, he's, I bought these paddles from a yard sale, so they might be a little jittery. A little cleaning will fix that. But so far, it's just working flawlessly. I mean, that's great that you can use your original paddle controllers or even aftermarket con uh, paddle controllers should work fine and you know kaboom is again one of those just timeless classics people remember playing these you know this is the strength of this package is that you have a lot of the classics that people remember playing 
that they can play on a modern TV. I mean, it's just this is just a great, a great altogether package, and it's really really happy to see that uh, a lot of the Activision classics, which Activision made some of the better games for the console. If you ask a person who remembers playing Atari 2600 back in the day what games they remember, Pitfall is going to be one of the top answers. I was really honored to meet David Crane and have him sign my copy of Pitfall, which I can't wait to put in my new expansion. And this is playing great. I am playing this using the Atari 7800 control pad. This is the European style controller. And it's playing great. I'm not the best player, but it's working. Good old alligators. Or crocodiles. <laughs> All right. But you know this is this is probably the one game. If, if if people buy this, I guarantee this is probably top pick that what they're gonna play first. I mean, this is this is a game that a lot of people remember. A lot of people got their game chops playing this. Get that gold! Get that gold! Yes. So one of the two interesting games included with this bundle is Frogger. What makes it interesting is it's not the 2600 version. It actually looks a lot better, more like the arcade. Doesn't have sound, has sound effects, but uh, I'm sure that's for copyright reasons. But it plays awesome, looks awesome. And so, you know, I don't think many people are gonna be disappointed because the graphics look better. Now, the other game is Space Invaders. And Space Invaders, again, looks more like um, an arcade version of it, or deluxe. And uh, again, I don't think many people are going to be upset that the graphics are better. I'm not. And it plays awesome. Looks awesome. All right, here's the other game that was graphically enhanced for this bundle, and that's Space Invaders. And it plays a lot like the arcade. And it this is uh, a wireless controller is really functional. I really I really enjoy it. I'm also glad that you can use your original controller if you wish. Ah, I almost got the shit. But fans of Space Invaders should be happy, should rejoice, having a timeless classic such as this on it. I do kind of wish they had both. Honestly, I wish they had the original 2600 version. Maybe, maybe next year they can have add an SD card slot so people can do that. Add the original version of the 2600 because I I know there's people out there that probably <laughs> played a lot of Space Invaders. And for people that don't know, uh, Space Invaders was really the first big blockbuster hit for the Atari 2600. So that's that. Pretty awesome product. I, I give it a thumbs up. I'm really excited about this coming out. And you're probably wondering, when is that? September 22nd. Yes, you can start pre-ordering these now. I do believe pre-orders have started to open up as this review is being posted on YouTube. So check it out. Major retailers are going to carry it, including GameStop, Best Buy, Toys R Us, Bed Bath & Beyond, and Target. And so I, I think it's a great product. Again, the one only downside I would have really would be not having an SD card slot. I know their portable has it. Would have been nice to have this with that ability, but okay. It's still an awesome product. I recommend it at $79.99. Thank you so much for people around the world that have taken time out of their day to watch, comment, subscribe, like any of my videos. It means the world to me. My hat's off to anybody out there that is watching this. This is the immortal John Hancock. Take care.